Greetings, I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. All right, so we are a little bit mystified with this game so far, and uh, it has been leading us around, but in the way of it being called 1,000 Lies, we've been lied to, and we're going to see what happens next. Ha-ha! All right, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, theys and thems, and house. Aha! How am I not a gentleman? I none for you. Thank you for coming to our little production. I do hope all of you enjoyed it. But we must forget, we mustn't forget to whom we dedicated this practical joke. Someone who also had a small role to play. You're gonna embarrass the teacher again. You're gonna embarrass the teacher. You're gonna embarrass the teacher again. A round of applause for our already beloved substitute teacher. Woo! The people freaking Poor out back. Thing. This prank was just to make her day hard, wasn't it? Thanks. Thanks. Please come up to the stage. Oh, wait, we're on a stage? You mean over no, into no. the class? No, no, yeah, just, just... And introduce yourself? We don't even know your name yet. The target of all the shouts and whistles, our victim, yep, stands yep. petrified against the wall, even paler than before. At first she appears frightened, then she frowns until finally she scowls and begins puffing air out of her nose like an enraged bull. This sounds so anime. Teacher, I am so embarrassed. I am so upset. I am so... I will snort at you, puff up and turn red. Yes. Wow, the animal is strong. It is. What other reaction could we expect from our little prank? I. Right. The three of us end up in the principal's office. Yeah, I called that. Sounds right. So, so unfortunately, in that way, it also sounds kind of reasonable, because that was sort of like, again, if you didn't know what the fuck was going on, I, like... Yeah, that would be very strange. Whoa. I. You know what? It's interesting that just like back to back, we're playing games with photo backgrounds right. that have just been vectored a little bit. Uh huh. I, I think that's the right word. They've been lightly edited with a different filter on them. Anyway, it's now recess at Duhane Institute. Dujane? Dujane? Dujan? I think since the other language for this is Spanish, it's probably Duhane. Okay. I will. Anyway, I'm going to do Duhane. Sure. Sounds hmm. good. It's now, and if anyone else knows a better pronunciation, please feel free to pipe in. But I got, I got nothing at the moment. I love the whole, like, these are actual signs and you didn't, like, bother to cover up any uh -huh. of them. It's fine. Because, you know, it's from Spain. It's now recess at Duhane Institute. Aus and I go for a walk outside the school grounds, wandering with no particular destination in mind, through the street that serves as the heart of our small town. It has become our routine. So, you guys go to an institute? It's not even that big in the first place. But we live in a, modern, a modest European town, ah, whose inhabitants thrive off a rich history and modern-day political lies. So I may not know a number of these words, but since we are established to be in a foreign place, I will try very hard to be aware of that, especially, and I will, I will encourage my friend as well as we approach linguistic choices that may be strange. Mm. Because these are or like names of things that we're not familiar with, such as going to an institute, maybe that's what it's called, right. instead of a high school. I've lived here my entire life, and the only positive quality I can think of is its fresh, unpolluted air. In other words, it's really boring here. Yeah. The quietest of quiet towns. What do you have? A lot of quiet. Hi. Oh. A lot of freaking. What's the positive? It's quiet. What's the negative? It's quiet! Yeah, I love it when people are like, the positive is also the negative. Yes. Although it's still better to die of boredom than to try to deal with those little brats back at the school. Oh, you are still condescending. On the other hand, if you presume you can just, you know, <laughs> prank everyone at your own leisure, you may very well be full of yourself. Aw, damn, I never expected for it to end so badly. I didn't think it was a big deal. Yeah, uh, right? You're I'm also like, shitty, are those your normal clothes? You guys weren't actually wearing something special for this thing? This is just what you wear? Even though we're pranking everyone more often than before, we haven't done anything too terrible. It's not like we've actually physically assaulted anyone. I guess it's just the risk we took with doing it to a new teacher. Some people take life too seriously. No, dude, I would have been like, what the fuck? You just pretended to stab yourselves. To kill yourself in front of everyone? Also, I walked in and you proclaimed your undying love for me. Damn, bro. Like, that's Whoa. also potentially inappropriate, like, really, because the big concern that they usually adults have is going that we don't want to have anything bad happening between the students and the teachers. It's a bad working relationship, let alone the legal ramifications in various ways. Yeah, imagine if some kid really took it seriously and they just started jokingly, or, or even just as a joke, and they started telling people and some adult heard it and took it seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, that person would just fucking lose their job. That's not funny. Yeah. Like, I get how it is. Theoretically, but that but is so In the dangerous. case of legal issues, if a child cries, like, essentially molestation or inappropriate behavior at an adult, 
there is a level of, and it's an adult in a profession with that child. It has to be looked at. Yeah. Like, at all. Anyway, <laughs> the comedian sitting next to me is Aus Eldwine. Eldwine? Aldwine? Aldwine? Aldwine is what I'd go with. Aldwine. He's a perverted, narcissistic guy who can't decide whether he loves women or his own reflection more. Women. Not a woman, not people. Women, in general. Just the women. generic women. He calls himself a lady killer, and I can confirm that it's true, in a literal sense, from shock and terror, usually. I... He's so bad at it, and he's kind of a freaking pig, is what I'm hearing. I am definitely That's hearing great. my friend is an asshole who's a womanizer. Womanizer, womanizer. womanizer. That's what you are. It's what you are. Well, to be honest, I know he has a reputation as a womanizer. Ah, called it around the school. But from what I've seen, I'm skeptical. He has stuck to me like a parasite ever since I transferred to the school a few years ago. Like a parasite. Like a parasite. Since then, just like with our little play, we've wasted our time pulling pranks and being dumbasses together. Actually, he's a cinnamon roll who is in love with the MC and pretends to be into all the women, you know, to disguise things. He, and sure. Ca and create a bad social reputation for himself so no one will pay too much attention. I'm just faking it, but he really has a natural talent for it. Faking. Faking what? what? Huh? I don't know. Because of our infamous endeavors, no one can take us seriously. That's why we're known as class clowns above all else. All In all the years we've been studying here, we've never gotten into any major trouble. Just sometimes getting lectured or complained at, now to the principal's office. Boy. The fact that Aus, although it may seem impossible, has the highest grade in his class probably has something to do with it. I'm still a good student, even with a reputation as a womanizer and an absolute pain in your ass. And I... <sighs> Well, I'm just a pretty face, I guess. I'm a lucky guy who knows how to escape before the smoke sets off the fire alarm. I don't know if that's lucky so much as you are just basically you don't like to take responsibility and you're very good at dodging it. Hmm. But it seems we've scared the new teacher a little too much, especially by pretending she might have an immoral relationship with a student. Thank you for acknowledging it. Right. But what else should we have expected from an age? Should from an age that places precedence on political correctness? I don't know exactly what that means. I... Places precedence? Yeah, the places... So this is the thing that will get the most amount of attention first. In regards to uh, all the issues that are brought up, political correctness is the thing that is matters. Is the only way. Is, real is number issues, one. Real issues are shrugged off while everyone else is living in their own bubbles. You're really crying, PC? Dreading that someone may try to pop it, going, you can't say anything inappropriate, everyone must completely moderate their tones at all times, you can't deal with issues because talking about them is inappropriate. PC at all times. You're PC. You know, that PC thing has saved people's lives? It actually has. Oh, fuck. Oh, and it actually added a lot of politeness to a lot of things. All right, basically, right now, they're discussing where they should, where they should chop our heads off and which weapon to use. Maybe weather? Oh, no, where? What location? Where? Got it. Axe or guillotine? I see. I don't regret it, though. It really wasn't that bad. They're just too sensitive. So you are kind of an asshole that is a little entitled. Yeah. Hey, are you listening to me? No, this is about me. Are you doodling again? Every time I get distracted, you always have your nose in that notebook. I, yes, because it's more interesting. I might have said you're really into yourself, but what I mean is I'm really into myself. Me, myself, and I. It's impressive how long it can take Aus to notice his surroundings. Since we left, I've been writing in the small pocket-sized notebook that I always keep with me. And no, I wasn't listening to him. I don't consider it healthy to pay attention to him anyways. We're uh, always around each other, but I don't... Uh, wow. I've asked you a couple of times already. Are you going to show me what you're writing eventually or not? For years. Oh. We've been friends for, like, what, six years? Still, you've never let me see it. I. Wow. I puff and close the notebook with my thumb and index finger. Hup. It's a question that I should expect by now, seeing as this fixation of mine usually catches everyone's attention at some point. Why are you writing all the damn time? No, it's not weird to write entries in a diary or to jot down ideas, neither of which was what I was doing. It's only because I do it so often that it's even noteworthy. Noteworthy, my bad. Oh, what am I writing? No, Aus. Your question is incorrect. Seeing as I'm not the one who's writing anything. Uh, I'm going to be sassy now. It's I am fine. also going to be basically ironic, I guess. Uh. It's my hand. It moves by itself. Every time I have the premonition of a catastrophe, my fingers themselves scribe the future into this notebook. We say out loud. Yes. All right. I've been keeping it a secret because of its power. Because this power, if put in the wrong hands, could be used for evil. 
Is this? This is this is sarcasm. This I'm is, imagining I'm this is a total lie. Yes. Catastrophe. Wait a second. Are you shitting me? Catastrophe. How? Am I in danger? Are you a himbo? Oh. <laughs> oh. My friend's verbosity suddenly accelerates within a second. He starts talking faster. He, yes. He starts talking faster. This sounds like someone trying to sound impressive on a job application a little it bit. It really does, and it's kind of... Because, again, they all sound like they're talking grading. basically the same. Y yes. Yeah. Meanwhile, I open the notebook and read what I had just written, then turn my gaze away and bite my lip. Hey, 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 I don't like that face. What did you just read? I hope it's not something harmful to me. I... Poosh. That's probably something bad about me. I guess, yeah. Something or, or dangerous, mm. you know, concerning me. At that very moment, I shiver. It was as if lightning had struck me. With no control over my body, I write a short sentence on a new page and then rip it out as the premonition finishes. Uh, so maybe you are telling the truth. And suddenly, after six oh. years, you just decide to do so? Okay, now you're really freaking me out. What did you write? And if this is a performance, yet we're in your head, you're lying to us, the player, as well. And this is another reason also why I get really bitter sometimes with main characters going, I don't know who to trust here. And going, it's okay for you to be an unreliable narrator, but if this game is not self-aware, and nonetheless you are lying to the people in your head, that's a little weird. Right? I, I, I can't tell you. I think it's a lie. <sighs> Hunt it over! I think so too, but again. Yeah. Al snatches the crumpled sheet of paper away from me. Finally, while trying to keep a composure that he clearly lacks, he reads its contents. The time is quickly approaching. Something worse than death will hunt you down. Aye, here we go. I'm going, is this a lie or not? Ah! The dramaticness of just like, I don't even know how to feel about any anime. of this. Huh? huh? I only touched your shoulder. Why'd you jump? Worse than death, a ah! girl will hunt you down. How are my favorite guys? I've got good news. Principal got us off the hook. Oh, guess Woo! who's got us off the hook? You look like you're wearing almost like a fantasy what? maid cafe outfit. Hey, what kind of premonition is this, Kiar? Hmm. Well, I wrote about something worse than death, and then Ziva came along. I think it hit the mark. Oh my god. What are you talking about, and why do I get the feeling that it isn't good? Uh, it's okay. It's just, you know, verbal degradation. We're fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Let's not get into the details. Gar was writing his notebook again, and I wanted to know what it was, since he never tells us. I see. <sighs> mm. I trying to figure out what the... She's wearing, like, a three-layer thing. Like, she's got, like, a little, like, um... It's almost like she's got, like, an, an apron? apron top, and then she has, like, a sort of a jump... Like, a, a bodysuit underneath it, and then, like, a tiny skirt, and then stockings, and then, like, a see-through skirt over it, but under the apron that's got, like, a, a crisscross pattern on it. You yeah, this character about? stands out. No, no, no like, I've seen it every time, it's really And I'm going, it's like, it's, like, four layers of stuff over her legs and still not covering much also she's got like basically butler tails going on mm -hmm. all right ziva moves her gaze from aus to me blinding me with a sparkling shimmer in her eyes so brightly with, with a sparkle, sparkle shimmering in her eyes so brightly that it resembles a lighthouse uh there is a this lot is of an anime character they're mm -hmm. literally transcribing the uh like like oh so it was really common back in like uh 90s and then in the early the 2000s huge flash Boom! Boom! yeah uh -huh. i'm like you're transcribing that stuff the anime translated to purple prose interesting whoa uh. oh so endian was compulsively writing in his notebook again how come she calls us endian and he calls us um kiar kiar i want to know it's confusing me because it's animu Okay. Because again, if you're saying with the first name, it's far too intimate. If it's your last name, that's okay. It, so we're she. She, of course, is a girl. Is going to call us by our last name. Yes. Got it. Got it. Okay. Can I see what you wrote too? Huh? Can I? Can I? Little wiggles. Uh huh. She tries to steal my pocket-sized notebook by jumping on me, but since I'm used to her trying this kind of thing, I manage to evade her in time and hide it away in my back pocket. <clears throat> Hands off, Sigmund Freud. Mm. Jeez, so unfair. If you won't show it to me, then your treatment will never progress, Endymion. <laughs> Endian. Endian. Endymion. 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 Mm. I, Don't I, be I... deceived by her charm and appeal, both of which I assume you can see that she has. Ziva Shani is one of the most dangerous species in the entire world, according to nine out of different, ten experts. Is one of the most dangerous species. So her, as a person, is a species. It's fine. Yeah, so are much. you talking to us, the reader? Well, most of my fellow fauna will tell you the opposite, since they're all madly in love with her. To me, Ziva's nothing more than a headache. I mean, just look at her. 
It's like she's straight out of an RPG with those clothes. Thank you! Oh, God. But since she's attractive, everyone just turns a blind eye. She does cosplay every day at school. She I does. love it. Okay, okay. The fact that you have addressed the clothes, I like you more. Uh, Game, you have, you have won me over a little bit better. If I had to describe her, I'd say she's a wannabe psychologist with a touch of insidiousness and deceit, who has also been determined to ruin my life since the very first moment we met earlier this year. Her dream is to go to college and focus on the studies of the human mind. And what better practice than examining, experimenting with mine first? Stop psychologying me. Somehow she found out about my habit of scribbling in my notebook, which she described as interesting and hasn't stopped bugging me since. She decided it'd be her, I'd be her test subject. Not a week goes by where she doesn't try to psychoanalyze me or fish my paper scraps out of the trash and read them. Even worse, sometimes she tries to steal my notebook so she can discover its secrets. At least now she calls me by my surname. Before that, I was just patient to her. All right, patient. I. The only thing that needs to be treated is your head, Ziva. Well, what were you going to say before you attacked me? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Hi. I love that they addressed her I clothes. snuck into the teacher's lounge and gave them my biggest, saddest puppy dog eyes so I could pacify them and blah, blah, blah. They only gave me the usual speech and sent me away. Aren't I lucky? And the rest of us? Why, well, that should have been expected. It wasn't that bad. I guess I won't be scolded again this time either. Whoa. It was pretty bad, dude. Huh? I wasn't talking about you guys, just me. Thank you for lining up your language with the way I interpreted it. I appreciate it. Then what part of that exactly do you call good news? I thought you'd be happy for me, Indian. I didn't expect you to react so selfishly. Sigh. Come on, they can't be that hard on us. If they let Ziva get away with it, then our fate will probably be the same. Yeah, now, we've think. done worse things day after day, and nothing has ever happened, right? Uh, I guess. I don't like Scolding and lectures and stuff. Yeah, but uh, this time was all... It was all the master plan of this lady, right here, who also insisted on participating in one of our operations with us. And she doesn't even care what happens to her comrades now. Ah! So usually See? it's just the two of you that are class clowns. Right. All right. Seriously? That explains why Ziva would participate with us in all of this. <sighs> it was you who owed me one Indian, so stop complaining. Plus, I was just messing with you. I wouldn't really hang you out to dry. All right, again, we are just going, everyone's going to lie all the time. You don't have to worry about anything. The substitute is angry, but the rest of the staff didn't really take it seriously. She's like, this <laughs> is the working environment I have to come to? Ah, uh, the only thing you've got to do now is apologize to her and shed some crocodile tears to show how very sorry you are, and you're finished. See how easy it is? I, I love it. Just go lie to her, and you'll be fine. I can't believe you don't trust me, Indian. You have such little faith in me! Ugh. Ugh. Little to none. Anyways, that was the bare minimum you could have done since you were involved, so stop grumbling. Uh, I'm gonna yawn at you. It's okay. I did help you, though, so I want a favor in return. Can you come with me to... I... Request denied. No favors. Oh, come on. Also, it sounded like it, like that we had owed her one and let her in because of that. And now she's going to pay me back. Right. So I'm a little lost suddenly. Jeez. Oh, Alrighty. Come on. What's with the long faces? Remember how in less than a month finals began? Less fighting and more having a good time so we can leave this place with a good impression, okay? I love schoolwork. It's really easy and it less complicated is my favorite. than all of you. God, come on. By the way, Ziva, what kind of favor did he owe you, if you don't mind my asking? I see. I think this is the first time I've ever heard of Kiara owing anyone a favor without a bet somehow being involved. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hell, not too long ago, he wouldn't do anything unless there was a bet involved. Unless there was a bet unless involved. Unless there was a bet involved. <sighs> oh, it was nothing. I just asked my uncle if he knew about a certain package, since he works at the post office. Okay. Speaking of which, you never did tell me what was the, what that was all about. You told me you'd explain it another time? I had you go ask about a thing. Okay. I, I fold my arms in and raise an eyebrow, resigning myself to answer despite my clear lack of interest. It's kind of a bad anecdote, but I guess we have the time anyways. Both Aus and Ziva look at me expectantly. Their interest can be... I can't be more apparent. I initially resist, but end up yielding to the pressure... 
They're eager faces. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Me, bored animal boy, looking at the sky. Uh, I'm like, so tired. I can feel it, though. I'm so pretty and exhausted. I say, the language might be a little odd, but I can see the one hand in the pocket slouched back on your hips, looking at the sky. Uh, uh, so it's working, nonetheless. All right, I'll tell you everything, but I'm warning you, it's just a depressing love story. A love story? The whole world shakes. <laughs> she slams into you. Love story? Oh, my God! Uh, uh, you don't have to tell the entire world, you know. I wasn't aware that my young and pure Kiaran had already become a man. It must have been due to my benevolent influence. Aye, well, you're going to have to find out about your benevolent influence next time. I'm just going to bend you over, baby. My good <laughs> friend, Aus. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, thank you very much, guys, though, for joining us. This is interesting. And weird. Um, and weird, yes. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us again. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos. If you're having a good time with us, please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. Yep. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it, it was, was great, great playing with you. you. Bye! Bye.